students welcome back to our biology classes and this is divya kanavalli and i am going to teach you biology classes for you guys right students yes in the last class we have understood about the introduction regarding transportation in animals and plants right so not only that even we understood about the blood okay a blood is an essential fluid which flows in a blood vessels which plays a very important role in transportation of oxygen carbon dioxide waste materials and water and other essential substances right so we understood about a blood very clearly now it is a time to learn about the blood vessels right so blood vessels what do you mean by blood vessels what are the types of a blood vessels why the blood vessels play important role in circulatory system let us learn in this class okay students when you see here the oxygen whatever we are inhaling from the fresh air yes it should be transported to different parts of the body right so we understood by chapter 10 yes where oxygen is very much essential for the breakdown of food right so when oxygen plays that much important role that means each and every cell require this oxygen right so this oxygen should be transported from lungs to different parts of the body right so even not only that result of respiration carbon dioxide is been released in our body and we know that this carbon dioxide is toxic to our body right it is very important to eliminate this right that means even this waste materials carbon dioxide also should be picked up from the cell so for this transportation there are a different types of blood vessels that are present in our body right so what are those blood vessels so there are two types of blood vessels that are present in our body so what are those those are arteries and veins first learn about the arteries here so what are the arteries arteries are a type of blood vessels which carry the oxygen rich blood from the heart to the different body parts okay so that means see this is the heart and this is the tissue so from heart to tissues okay that means tissues are nothing but the different body parts so from heart to body parts the blood will be supplied this blood is rich in what this blood is rich in oxygen so this oxygen rich blood will be carried to the different parts of the body from the heart by which type of blood vessel yes it is a artery the walls of the arteries are elastic and thick do you know why the walls of the artery are thick in nature why because there is a high blood pressure inside the walls of the arteries why because we require more amount of oxygen pump more amount of blood to the body parts yes the blood will be flows in high blood pressure okay with great force the blood will be flowing inside the arteries because of that pressure will be created inside the walls of the artery so because of that if the blood vessels are thin what happens due to high pressure what happens it will burst out so when you take a balloon and if you start blowing air into the balloon so at certain point it will burst out why because the pressure inside the balloon what happens increased due to increased pressure inside the balloon the balloon got burst right why because the balloon is made up of a very thin layer of rubber right and the same way so how a balloon is elastic in nature the arteries are also elastic in nature likewise how the thickness if you see the balloon thickness how it will be likewise there is a thickness of the arteries so if the thickness of the arteries are just thin like balloons what happen yes even because of high blood pressure inside the walls of the blood vessel it will burst out right so to avoid that what have what it is having so the arteries are having thick walls which will facilitate in a good flow of blood into it understood okay so you understood that the arteries will carry the oxygen rich blood to the tissues or different parts of the body and see here let's do activity here take your left hand okay use your index and middle finger and place your hand on your wrist okay so like this and just observe that you can feel a thrombing effect means like this throwing effect okay 
so you can feel some thrombing effect here so thrombing effect whatever we are uh, seeing in the left hand wrist no so it is called as pulse okay so this thrombing effect is there no so this thrombing effect is caused due to the flow of blood in the arteries let's do one more activity that is let us count our pulse per 1 minute that means so our uh, in one minute how many times we can feel that thrombing effect okay so you need to count so take a watch and start keep a countdown for one minute and observe how many times you will show this pulse per minute so when you see like this yes you can see on an average when we are in a resting position we can see that the pulse rate will be about 72 to 80 times per minute that means here what i mean by pulse rate here the number of beats per minute is called the pulse rate that means you feel that thrombing effect no so in one minute how many times we can feel that thrombing effect no so that we call as a pulse rate okay so in a resting person we can see that the pulse rate will range between 72 to 80 beats per minute we are doing any physical activity the pulse rate will increase we understood that artery is a blood vessel which carry oxygen rich blood but there is a one special type of artery in our body which carries the carbon dioxide rich blood carbon dioxide rich blood means the blood which is rich in carbon dioxide so that is nothing but the pulmonary artery so pulmonary what artery means what pulmonary artery means this is a artery which is connected from heart to the lungs okay so from the heart it is connected to the lungs where from heart the blood which is rich in carbon dioxide no it will come from the tissues okay so this carbon dioxide rich blood will move from heart to the lungs so this blood vessel is what blood vessel this is a pulmonary artery so the pulmonary artery it is the only blood vessel which is present in our body which carries carbon dioxide rich blood understood okay so this by this it is very clear about the arteries right so next if you see the the next type of blood vessel is veins so veins are a type of a blood vessel vessels which carry the carbon dioxide rich blood okay so this carbon dioxide rich blood from where to where it will go from tissues to the heart so in tissues as a result of respiration the carbon dioxide will be produced you no know? so this carbon dioxide from the tissues and cells it will move from cells to what heart so this blood vessel we call as vein okay so if you see this is a vein yes the thickness of the vein that is the uh, the wall thickness uh, if you see it is thin compared to the artery so the wall of vein is thin compared to the artery so we cannot find that much amount of pressure which we can see in the arteries okay so the flow of blood when the flow of blood is being taking place in the veins you no know, so the pre blood pressure will be comparatively less in the veins than the arteries okay so if you there is one vein which is present in our body which carries oxygen rich blood that is a vein which is connected from lungs to heart so lungs from lungs the oxygen which is collected from the air it will be stored in the lungs no from lungs the oxygen from lungs the oxygen will be carried to the heart right so this blood vessel which is connected from lungs to heart okay which carries a oxygen rich blood no so that blood vessel we call as pulmonary vein so pulmonary vein it is a only vein which carries the oxygen rich blood from lungs to heart okay you understood right we need to keep in mind that yes pulmonary artery it is a only artery which carries the carbon dioxide from heart to lungs and when you see pulmonary veins it is the only vein which carries the oxygen from lungs to heart okay so students not only the arteries and the veins there are even one more type of blood vessels that are present so the artery which is connected to heart yes it will 
divided further into many thin branches okay so this fine thinnest branches which is formed by the arteries we call as capillaries okay so these capillaries are connected to the cells from capillaries the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide will takes place from cells to blood and blood to cells okay so if you see here these capillaries this is a artery right this is a capillary so these are capillaries the blue colored one is a capillary and this is a vein so if you see here the artery formed many branches or it is being divided into thin uh, thin strands right so here the exchange of more, uh, substances will takes place from tissues to blood and at the same time is blood to tissues will takes place from blood oxygen will be taken by this tissue and tissues will produce carbon dioxide to the blood so now carbon dioxide will be produced by the cells no so this carbon dioxide will be taken back to the veins why because these capillaries are joined to the veins okay so by this it is very clear see the arteries and veins are finally meet at capillaries okay where here the exchange of molecules will be taking place and capillaries are the smallest blood vessels they are very 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 small in size okay so these capillaries will help, help in exchange of substances from blood to cells and cells to blood okay so the carbon dioxide is now taken to the veins no? so from veins it will be taken back to the heart and heart to lungs and now the carbon dioxide rich blood which is present in the lungs okay it will expel the carbon dioxide outside and again a fresh air will be taken inside where oxygen will come and from this the pulmonary vein the oxygen will be taken to the heart heart to arteries arteries to capillaries capillaries to tissues and tissues to vein carbon dioxide uh, tissues will produce carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide will taken by the veins and veins to again to heart and heart to lungs for oxygenation again so this is how the transportation will takes place in the blood vessel okay so this is about the different types of blood vessels that are present in our body so students keep it in mind there are mainly three types of blood vessels okay arteries veins and capillaries okay so these arteries are helpful in carrying the oxygen rich blood whereas the veins are involved in carrying the carbon dioxide rich blood and the capillaries are helpful in exchange of substances from blood to tissues and tissues to blood okay students this is about today's class let's meet in the next class give thumbs up when you like the video please do share subscribe to the channel and tap to the bell icon so that you will get further notification of my videos and this is about today's